On Android 11, when you long click the power button like this, you get this new menu where you can add uh, controls here. And now Tasker allows you to add controls. There are two ways to do that. The most simple one is by directly adding tasks to that menu. So if I go to here, I can see all the tasks I have in Tasker and simply add them. I have three tasks here that do different things just based on how they're set up. So for example, I have a task. Task was ran. That is a simple task with just a say action. Task was ran. As you saw, it's a simple button. Task was ran. Task 2, on the other hand, is a little more complex because it uses the par1 uh, variable. And when you do that, the par1 will be will have the value of of a button. So it's now off. If a button is on, it's now on. It sends on. If it's off, it's now off. It's off. So you can toggle the button with the task. And if the task uses both the par1 and par2 variable, the button can be toggled. It's now on. The range is 84. But it also has a range. It's now on. The range is 36. It's now off. The range is 36. So depending on the task, the buttons will behave differently. There's also a much a more um, complete way of doing this, which is the, using the new power menu action in Tasker. So this is a, an action that, that configures a custom button on that screen. You can set the type directly, you can set the title, the subtitle, and you can set the command. This command will be sent to a new event in Tasker called command. And it uses the auto apps command system to do pretty interesting stuff. So for example, if I run this action, it'll create a button with the title Relay, the subtitle Browse Reddit, and this command, launch app equals common equals, and Relay. So if I click this, oh, first I have to add it, Relay, here it is, and then if I click this, the task from this profile will run, which simply launches the app and presses the back button so that the menu disappears. So if I click this, the app is, the app is launched. So imagine you want to have a smart app button that changes depending on where you are. So for example, when you're at home, you want to have a relay button, but if you're away, for example, and you you like to browse the web on the on, on when you're when you're away from home, you have a Chrome button. But at night, you like to to game a little, so you like to have the Xbox Game Pass button there. And this is dynamic; the button is is always the same, but when you click on it, it'll do different stuff. So this is this, the, the power button menu with tasker buttons. Hope you enjoyed it. Bye.